Hello everybody and welcome to Get Weld Soon. So everybody wants to learn how to walk the cup, right? They want them real pretty TIG welds. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's all great, but well, to be honest with you, you need to learn freehand too because there's not always room to be walking the cup. Okay? But I'm gonna show you how anyway. So first, learn on a learn on a plate. Okay, don't go straight to a pipe because you're gonna struggle. Really bad. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, when I'm on a plate, I like to do mine upside down like this, or you can do it from the side, whatever you prefer. But don't overthink it, okay? So all you're doing, once you fire up, all you're doing is walking this thing on the edge of the cup, okay? It's sitting right here at the edge of the cup, and you're just turning and walking. You'll roll it a little bit, turn it, roll it to the other side, turn it. Roll it to the other side, turn, roll, turn, roll, turn. That's all you're doing, okay? It's not that complicated. It just takes some practice. It does take some practice to get the, uh, get the feel for it and to be consistent at it. But, uh, now, <clears throat> also make sure, don't, be, don't push down hard on it, okay? Just enough to let it, just let it sit on there, basically. Just barely put enough tension on it to, to hold it in place, okay? Because if you start pushing on it hard, then you're gonna end up slipping, okay? And you'll see what I mean. It, you'll be slipping, okay? You, you'll do it, I promise. So don't be don't be getting a death grip on it and pushing hard or nothing like that, okay? Just be just be kind of gentle with it, okay? Just, just walk it. So when you fire up, make sure you get a puddle started first, then you can start adding your wire. And uh, I just lay my wire down and run over it back and forth now my heat is set at like 140 140 amps uh, you can turn it down if you want uh, just make sure your heat is hot enough to to wash the puddle back and forth uh, when you go uh, from one side to the, to the other if it's not hot enough to to keep to maintain the puddle if you lose the puddle basically uh, then the, you're too cold you need to turn it up okay so you're just washing the puddle back and forth side to side and uh, try to be consistent and uh, so that you have straight lines on the toes. Uh, try to get it as straight and consistent as possible. And just go slow, take your time, and uh, the speed will come. Uh, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to the, the movement and the flow, but uh, you'll get it, just practice. Well, there you have it. There's my little cup walking bead. But just uh, definitely start out on plate. Because uh, walking it on pipe's a whole different animal. I hope this helps you out. Get you walking that old cup. Start putting them real slick caps on there. But uh, anyway, good luck. And I uh, hope this helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.